Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if the first video I did is uploaded yet, but you see all that funny looking sand out there, that white looking pile? That's a sand dune that moves around. Um, I know down in the Bay Area they got one called Bonnie Dunes and it moves all over the place. I'm not sure what this is called here, what uh, the exact name of that one is, but that sand dune blows all over. As you can see, we got the little play going on. Oh, it looks like we got a civilization out there. Oh, what's out there, man? Somebody living, a little homestead or something. But uh, as you can see, it's not quite so lonely today. We, we do have company on the road. But boy, oh boy, is it desolate. I, I don't think I'd ever want to get stuck out here in the middle of winter when, when we had five, six feet of snow sometimes because it does get snow out in this part of the, the, the country. Boy, there's a lot of water for... When was, last, I don't, when was the last time it rained out here? Yesterday, probably. Oh, as you can see, it got a little standing water here and there. Probably uh, there, there has been water uh, uh, storms moving through the area very warm storms. Normally this time of year we would see snow and ice on the road. Right now it's kind of watery, it's warm, uh, about, what is it, about 50 out there right now? 35, wow. 35 degrees outside right now, so eh, that's about normal this time of year. Just no water. Let's see over there. There we go. We're getting ready to go past that up around the corner here. We'll see what's coming up next. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in a few minutes. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. We just passed a sign that said Sand Springs Pass, 4644, 4,644 feet in elevation. Uh, those mountains back there are probably between five and 6,000. So that'll give you an idea of where the snow level is right now. Probably a, right about 5,000 feet, I would say. Uh, and we just actually just passed a couple areas here where it really does look like you can see some access roads on the side here. Uh, mining goes on, a lot of mining in this area. So if you want to do a little mining, uh, Nevada's notorious for silvers and a little bit of gold here and there. But if you want to do a little mining, folks, they got all kinds of places. Here comes another playa. Boy, look at that, huh? I bet that fills up with water when it gets a lot of rain out here, a lot of moisture. But I'm going to take another pause. We'll catch up to you in a few minutes here when we get to the next, uh, around the next turn and we see what we got going on here. Don't go anywhere. This portion brought to you by the fabulous Wynema Rash, Wild Horse and Burl Sanctuary. Misadvertise all the stuff. You go to the store and you're supposed to get grass fed, all natural beef and all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and as you can see, Covering real estate real quick, and there is testimony, live testimony, visual testimony, if you will, to the loneliest road in America. And on the loneliest road, you can travel at... Shh, don't tell anybody. That's kind of bad with the sun peeking through that little bit of clouds over there. Oh, there was some donuts back there, or... Brodies, as I call them. Oh, a hay truck. Oh, I guess he's going to feed somebody. This is actually, uh, uh, we're looking around out here, folks. See a little cattle loading docks and whatnot, if you will. Uh, serious ranch land out here is what this is. Uh, back back there was a, a couple mining claims, it looked like. Uh, you, you could see the, the various implements for digging up earth and stuff. But out here... This looks like grass-fed beef land to me, or at least sagebrush-fed beef land. Uh, and there's no snow on the mountains. Yeah, that's about 500 feet. I bet we've risen, because uh, uh, this seems to be going up. Yes. So, I'm going to close this video out, folks. We'll be back with another one when we get to Austin, Nevada. What have we got, about 75 miles left? Good guess. Maybe 75, 50 miles. So, about an hour, we'll be back with another episode. Let's all have a good time. Let's all be safe out there.